viewers uh, we are now discussing grand strategy matrix and uh, this grand strategy matrix uh, uh, is based on two dimensions one is competitive position and second is market uh, growth so based on these two variables we will put our business uh, uh, units or business divisions into different quadrants and they then based on uh, their position in the quadrants we will select a strategy for them so actually we have so you can see uh, the two variables are uh, uh, market growth market growth can be slow and can be high so market uh, growth and secondly competitive position so competitive position could be weak competitive position and strong competitive position so based on uh, these uh, uh, parameters or, or based on these two variables we will select a strategy we will select a different strategy for example if we have weak competitive position and we have slow market growth so it means this is quadrant so like we fall in this quadrant so we have either diversification liquidation unrelated diversification related diversification and retrenchment strategy because the market growth is low and we are in a weak competitive position so we we fall in in this quadrant and if we have slow market growth and strong competitive position so we for related diversification and unrelated diversification could be and joint ventures so these are the options that we have the strong competitive position rapid market growth market development market penetration product development <coughs> sorry uh, uh, forward backward horizontal integration and related diversification strong competitive position and high market growth sometimes we have like uh, weak competitive position and then rapid market growth so like in this case market development market penetration product development horizontal integration diversification and liquidation strategy so these are the strategies that are available so like this matrix grand strategy matrix is developed uh, based on market growth and and, and strong competitive position so based on like so if for example uh, like now we need to select the strategy based on placement of our, our SBUs or strategic business units in the relevant quadrant so like these are uh, like in this way we can select the uh, strategy uh, and how we can develop like uh, 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 a competitive position for competitive position I have like selected few parameters so what you can do basically sometime to what extent our company has I mean has a strong competitive position so it um, might be known to the cost and profit uh, uh, margins so uh, like uh, if we have uh, we have a uh, like cost of four dollar and uh, our competitor has say five dollars which means we have edge over our competitors because we are earning a profit of two two rupee uh, two dollars as compared to our competitors who are earning a uh, profit of uh, like just uh, one dollar and while both are selling at the same price so by looking into the cost if one company has cost less than their competitor so that is competitive as competitive position and sometimes this competitive position is also determined based on competitive scope and in the competitive scope we look into the product line that how, how many products line we have how many diverse group of uh, customers are being served and geographical expansion so these parameters can also be considered in order to determine the competitive position of a uh, business so you need to look into these parameters to determine the competitive position of your business so once you have uh, decided the competitive position and decided the market growth then you need to construct this matrix so
Uh, so in order to develop the grand strategy matrix, so firstly you need to list down the businesses from A, like A, B, C, Z businesses, then competitive position and then market uh, growth. So in order to construct the matrix, so what you need to do, uh, insert and then charts in chart you need to select bubble chart sorry you need you should not select the data first uh, you need to simply draw the uh, bubble chart oh, sorry what did I okay I have already selected the data uh, insert so yes I, I did it so would be two could be four okay then right click on this and select the data uh, so yes in this way add the series to a business then is y x values you need to take competitive uh, position and then y value that is its market growth and then uh, bubble size that is 2 and say okay then we need to take another uh, second business then its uh, competitive position that has been taken on x-axis then we will take its growth and finally size of the bubble that is four million dollars say okay then we will take third c business its x value that is three its y value that is three percent growth and then its bubble size that is five million dollars say okay and take fourth business that is D business is uh, com sorry D business then sorry D business plus this then its competitive position to then I business like the uh, sales say okay then we have E then we have its competitive position then we have its growth and finally its balloon size that is two million dollars we have f and its competitive position then we can enter y value and then finally bubble size that is six million dollars and add Similarly, we will uh, G business and then its value that is this, then Y value that is 12% and finally is bubble that is 12%, 12 million dollars. So like we have draw this one. Let's add the remaining that is H is better than Y x value then y value eight percent then its bubble size that is three million dollars okay and we need to add the i business uh, then we need to competitive position uh, and then uh, uh, then its uh, market growth and finally we will add uh, sales uh, bubble value say ok and uh, J business and this X value that is competitive position and uh, market growth and then its balloon size that can is sale that is 4 million uh, uh, dollars then we need to say ok so in this way the bubble chart is ready uh, uh, balloon chart is ready and uh, what we need to do we need to assign because that is not differentiable that uh, how uh, what this represents what kind of business it is so we need to right click and then we need to say data labels uh, add labels so that's the first job that you need to do add labels uh, so that it is quite uh, like easy for us to uh, uh, distinguish uh, different as we use add in the right uh, labels so I have uh, entered the labels 
even it is not mean differentiable or what it uh, meant for basically so like what is the name of these businesses so we need to again uh, write data format data labels and then i think we need to see this name and remove the y value and put everything in the center yes then so right click form my data labels and then series and y value and put in the center then i think this one again we need to right click uh, format labels uh, series is x so and then remove y value and put the label position in the center then we need to select another series name y value remove and uh, removed and uh, put the labels into the center yes then select another uh, like remove the y value and put the label into the center so that's the process that we need to remove for all the uh, repeat for all the uh, like uh, for rest of the businesses so that's what I'm, I'm doing like series name So like yes now you can see that uh, this is a business b is business j business b c a e h g like now it is quite distinguishable so that's uh, like uh, uh, like the businesses are visible in the, in, in the graph so now we need to uh, as you know that in our lecture slides uh, we need to draw these uh, four quadrants uh, from low to high and then uh, weak competitive position to strong competitive position so uh, we can consider uh, like uh, our uh, like market growth from our competitive position is four, so th uh, like 2.5 could be like our uh, average, and uh, below 3.2.5 uh, could be our like our weak com our competitive position, and 2. Point, uh, above 2.5 could be our strong competitive position. So we need to draw the lines, like insert, and then we have illustration and then we have go to shapes and like this one so like insert illustration uh, shapes and like this way and similarly for growth we take 6 as a like mm, average or average like 6.5 or 7 percent as a uh, as a uh, like uh, middle uh, growth right so now we can write like uh, we need to insert uh, taxes like uh, this is a uh, low growth a compati strong competitive position and then we have like weak competitive position weak competitive position then we need to like we can summarize right, right here like it's a uh, slow growth and we can put here like uh, high growth so like now these are the four quadrants like we have written uh, or we can format this uh, graph I don't know. Format plot area. Yeah. 
no grid lines look now it is it's like now it is a beautiful graph like you can see this so strong uh, competitive position weak slow growth and high growth and these are the four quadrants that are available so now we need to map uh, uh, these uh, bubbles or businesses with the our, our, our lecture slides or strategies so like now these are so this is quadrant four one two and three so it means if you have a strong competitive position and uh, a slow market growth so it means strong this is strong competitive position a slow market growth which so means this falls here so for this quadrant for quadrant uh, for this uh, fourth quadrant so we have related diversification unrelated diversification and joint venture similarly for this one that is strong competitive position and high market growth for strong competitive position and strong competitive position high market growth so we have quadrant one so like in this way we can uh, select the uh, strategies for our businesses so like this could be quadrant one so you can num number it one two three four you can write uh, here so in this way you have draw grand strategy uh, matrix thank you very much